Another quick little update. The boys have smashed it out. Look, we've freaking put our chairs and our mesh in. Our two lap, our double lap. <laughs> our double lap. Fucking shut up. Um, our starter's in, the epoxy did 600 centers. We've um, roughened up the edge a little bit just for it to stick a little bit easier, but that's cool. Now, we also have this little cooney seal that I just um, talked to you about um, last week. Wow, well, in the last update. Mikey, do you want to fucking, because you installed it, what would. Just shows on the detail that we need a, a bit of cooney seal at the bottom of our slab with our um, un, uh, underlay. Yeah. So it says on um, where what, the installation, um, um, what is it? Insulation instructions that it's either you you draw, you like fully clean the surface area or you wet it. So I got a bucket and the cooney seal actually comes with like a like a like a looks like a plastic film. But as you wet it, it kind of like melts away and becomes really, really sticky. So it sticks onto anything. So what I did, I just kind of did it like half on the bottom of the slab and towards the underlay to the um, polythene. And then you kind of have to pinch it to like a triangle shape, like a triangle, like a pyramid almost. And that kind of stops, um, you know, any moisture coming up on the joint. It's pretty cool. And it's stuck there forever, so far out. Yeah, that's right. So pretty wicked. Um, and yeah, that's a, that's only where our t two polythenes meet from slab to slab, and there's we can't get a tape on underneath there, so there's a, a weak point um, where the moisture can get through. So it's really just to stop anything really getting in through there, um, which I think is really good. Mike and Mike's done a good job. We've got along through here as well, just in case, but I think we should be pretty good. This is gonna be mean. All right, cut to us trying to lay the slab, eh? Far out. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> All right, <laughs> look at that, we pretty much, slab is laid. We've got our Maggie, well our big bull float that we freaking throw over the top to sort of slurry up the top, like this. Guys, I think that as good as we're gonna get, it's quite dark. See? I wish I could stay around and just wait like another hour and then hit it again with this, just to really get the high spot, well, not high spots, but really smooth it out, but yeah. It definitely needs a little bit more drying, but hey. It's not bad for like the first big slab, I guess. We'll see how it looks on freaking Wednesday. <laughs> what a muppet. That's right. Time to pack up, get the hell out of here.